Jake, I should have caught with you uh, a few weeks ago before you should have made your debut on March the 17th. But it didn't happen, did it, mate? No, just stuff out of my hands that prevented the show from going out. How about uh, this, this crazy COVID, post COVID period? Uh, lots of fighters that want to get out, not enough away fighters. And, and actually, the final reason why your show didn't happen was not enough officials. Yeah. Because it, we, we moved it from the Friday to the Sunday and the British Boxing Report of Control cancelled the show because they had no officials to uh, officiate. Crazy, isn't it? We were, me and John were saying the other day, there was, I think the week, the week before my fight was meant to happen, I think there was like 11 shows over the weekend. It was just crazy. crazy. Uh, it's, it's, it's a bit similar to uh, next month when we have got yeah. rescheduled the date, but because they cancelled that show for us. They're, allowed, they're not allowing any more shows to go on in October. Oh, yeah. um, but they've made a, um, you know, a, a special rule for us to do that because of uh, the situation last time. So they're allowing us to get this show out. So hopefully yeah. what Steve said to you when uh, you signed with us of getting you out twice before Christmas is still on the books. Yeah, we've, I've spoke to Steve. He said they um, be out on the 15th of October and then looking to get me out again late November. So I uh, think there might be about six or seven weeks between, but I thought I'm after, I just want to stay as active as possible. In the background, I mean, we've got <laughs> Liam Moon there. He's fighting on the same show as you. Yeah. And I've just been privileged to watch six great rounds with uh, another very special talent in uh, Brandon Real. Uh, great rounds. I think we've had about five or six bars now. Because you did a lot of preparation. For your previous yeah, day, yeah. obviously, like you say, we, we yeah, we, we were having, we had some great spars leading up to that date, and then obviously that got cut sadly. But um, yeah, we carried them over leading up to this date now, and still great spars. I was just saying to your coach before, you know, that, that was a special treat there. There was 10 national titles in that ring there. Oh, not often you get that like this <laughs> in, in one spar. And, and I also was saying to you, you know, I've got uh, one of your last fights against that two players, and uh, I, I didn't really know what to take from that because you were fighting a guy who was naturally bigger than you. You said it wasn't your way, you went in like 60 kilos. Yeah, it was, it was always too big. He's six foot one, um, it was never going to be an easy fight. But what I what I seen in that fight was this big heart of yours and this, this will to win. Um, and then when I asked you, when I did the interview here, it was, I don't know, like say four or five months ago. Um, I was asking you, what's your style like? You know, I, I, you know, are you a nice boxer, are you a fighter, and you a bit of both. Yeah. And I just, seen that, yeah. I, I just seen that you got nice feet, mate. Yeah, that's it. The, with me being like a bit smaller for the weight, most of the times I've been able to, I've had to adapt to fighting people who are bigger, but then at the same time fighting people who are around my size, so I've had to adapt to be able to uh, get in, rough them up a bit, like do the ugly work or. Like you see then. But you yeah, know, it's nice. South Pole sometimes I, I, I find <laughs> as effective as they, as, it, as they can be, sometimes a little bit negative and, and, and switches me off a little bit. <laughs> that was thoroughly enjoyable. You were certainly not negative as a South Pole. No, if that's it, it's right. Uh, honestly, I get bored. <laughs> yeah. I get, get bored. If, you, if you're just sat on the back foot just waiting and waiting, like, I, I feel like I need to be active. Like, even if it's just fainting or like, just being on the front foot, like mm -hmm. making sure something's happening. Well, I know like, it keep was it at my pace. because I just watched six rounds there, and I didn't even realise it was like, was that over? Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how enjoyable it was. Yeah. And uh, brand new, he's a, he's a he's a real bag of tricks, isn't he? You know? Oh yeah, he's awkward. But but, but what was nice is you were connecting simultaneously yeah. from weird. You know, you're, you're a lot more orthodox, you know what I mean? But. You 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 catching catching your shots and as you'd land yours, he'd just come back with some weird angle yeah. shot against yeah. you, innit? You know, but but your your lead hand uh, left up to the body. Got? Yeah, that's it. been working on it through camp, body punching and then rolling out and like hitting and then exit. so it's working. Well, well I've seen fun. that because again, I think Brandon was coming at you on these uh, these these ropes over here and. Uh, as he came at you, you just get under him and then you're behind him. And yeah. that's what I'm saying, really nice feet. Yeah, that's it. That's 
Yeah. But again, that's stuff we've been working on through camping and starting. So it's been coming off like I felt I was gutted when the show got cancelled last time because I th thought I peaked right to the top and was rearing to go and now just getting itchy knuckles now, just I waiting for the 15th. I, I've been hearing loads of good things, like you say, that was the first time I had a chance to watch your spa. Um, but I, I go, you go to all the gyms and your name keeps cropping up now. Yeah. People say, oh, I've trained with him. Was it Ethan Brown? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah Ethan, Ethan used to be. Joe Cavanagh, did he ever train with you? Not that I, I, I can't was. remember who. There was a couple of other lads I've spoke to. All singing your praises. Yeah. But they've all grown. Ah, oh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they all live in a green house and I, I just sit. I just sit down. <laughs> but yeah, um, no, Ethan, you should fire Ethan um, as, when we were amateurs. I think we were around the same weight, but he's shot up a bit now. He's got a bit bigger now. I think that lockdown he has well grown. Yeah. Um, but uh, October the 15th, uh, back out, great card. Two kids in the background there, Brandon and uh, Liam, uh, and Liam, yourself. Um, I think Sean Kearns is on there, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Um, not sure who else is, because it's all changed. But, uh, Oh, there's a few really good names on there as well. So. Yeah, there's a few debuts, isn't there? Well, you're, obviously you're making your debut, isn't it? Liam's making his debut. Brandon's making his return to ring. It's almost like a debut again, because it's been four years for him. Um, so it should be a top night, and obviously an icon of a, a boxing venue at the uh, Olympia. Yeah, it's the echo being a bit, well, the m &S bank now. Well, it's always going to be the echo. The, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, the Olympia's the Olympia's special. Small hall show. Oh, it's, it's the place, isn't it? It's, it's, it's the atmosphere's in there. It's to your call, isn't it? Yeah, the, the atmosphere's always brilliant in there. Any time I've went, even from a, being young, the atmosphere's always been great. Well, when we had our first show back after lockdown on September the 3rd, it was, it was honestly yeah. a top, top, top night. And I presume October the 15th is going to be exactly the same. And hopefully, I'll be chatting to you. What am I going to be saying? What a no! But um, yeah, fully enjoyed that spy, mate. Really, really enjoyable. And like I say, um, it'd be good to see uh, the Don back as well. Yeah, that's it. It'd be good to see all the lads back on fighting after 18, at least 18 months. Yeah. Well, listen, congratulations. Mate. Great performance. I really enjoyed it. And uh, good luck for the 15th. And like I say, hopefully I'll be saying one or no. Thanks, Ollie. Take, take care, mate. Cheers. Bye. Instant interviews. Amateur and pro. Across and off. Click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.